I didn't get much sleep. You ever have a tough decision to make and wonder if you made the right choice? Well, what kind of choice you are you talking about? You need to make the right yeah. choice in this situation, though. I think you're good. Your mom's calling from Italy at 6 p.m. sharp. Oh, right. All right, I'll be here. Promise. I'm going to act like I have amnesia, so don't freak out if I pretend not to know. <laughs> <laughs> sex with me okay yeah. Are you ready i'll be too I, I didn't think that i would love this so much uh, delivered from mrs dan scott don't try don't you even here? dan if you're in the mood to mend fences start by devoting a weekend to your son one without your inflated expectations of him pain and I just don't make sense as a couple she said so herself and then took it back. Look, I've seen Peyton really try to make an effort to turn things around. It just sucks that she got bit the first time she reached out to somebody, you know? Peyton's just too hard. I'm like, too hard. Are you saying that you won't bother to make an effort to be with her? Look. She makes me laugh. She's honest, she's not afraid to be herself. If you really like Brooke, go for it. But if you not being with yourself, and with Brooke, it's just gonna end up badly, especially for Brooke. I totally see where he is coming from. I love Brooke. I'm just afraid that this is not right. That I know that he's, he has feelings for 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 Peyton. Unless he get over them with Brooke, fine. It's gonna be great. But if he being dishonest with her, with himself and with Bro with Brooke especially, it's gonna really end up badly. Just saying. I wanted to talk to you about Lucas. Yeah, you need to talk. That's what I'm saying. The other night. What's that all about? Yeah. Did he tell you what happened? We didn't really do much talking after you left. You need to talk honestly. Don't do that. Late night. Yeah. <laughs> Who's the girl? You don't know her. <laughs> a little sweet baby. We're gonna be late for practice. What's this all about? Seems to me we've lost track of what this game is supposed to be about. This sucks. No, Speak to buddy. yourself. Whitey just did me a favor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Me too. I'm glad that he thinks that way. I had this really weird long day and I just probably wasn't making any sense. No, you were. But I had no idea you were coming over last night. You know, and Brooke and I, we Make just... a really good couple. You're a good guy, Luke. And she's my best friend. Well, if you have this ghost town under control, then I've got a study session with Nathan. Hey, Lee. I'm glad you're seeing Nathan. He's lucky to have someone like you. Thanks. Look, I came to make sure there's no weirdness about that. You're my best friend, and I would never cut you out for a guy. Okay? No matter who he is. Or how happy he makes me. Brooke, I'm cool with you and Lucas. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just gonna let it go. It is what it is. Have you completely lost it? You have a perfect season. <laughs> <laughs> perfect? You see that sign in the gym? Perfect? It's got my name on it. Means I call the shots. <laughs> We've driven him too hard, Danny. What are you talking about? Dehydration. We both know it's more than that. I think you'd be well advised to take a couple of days and do the same. You should take his advice. I had plans this weekend. I know you do. With me. Even when he's planning to go with his son in a nice private trip, he has to be in control. Yeah. Not if I have anything to say about it, boys. See, that is whack, dog. <laughs> we win the game and he get the group. <laughs> okay. Clear the weirdness, um, I'm please. glad we bumped into each other. Uh, Haley and I, Lucas, are you all right? Yeah. Hey, don't you think it makes more sense to buy in bulk? Plus, for dessert. Oh. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Scott. Whipped cream and condoms. <laughs> you and Mom getting a divorce. I hope so. Why am I so mean? We're doing this open mic thing at the cafe tomorrow. So I'm gone for two hours and you go all Hollywood on me. Yeah, that's me, glamour girl. Mm. Hey, Haley, these, uh, these, uh, 
flying. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. I'm drawing everything. Uh, they were buying condoms. Right. And keep this safe. <laughs> Karen's calling tonight. What am I going to tell her? You know, besides the fact that I want what's best for Lucas, I just, I don't want to let her down. <sighs> could always lock him in the cellar. <laughs> I was going to suggest talking to yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can burn him. <laughs> can you come up with a design that doesn't suck? When do you need him uh, tomorrow afternoon? OK. Oh, thank, thank you. you. You're the best. Yeah, she is. Best. It's really, she's got you on a short leash. Stop it. Yeah. Hey, it's Haley. Yeah, I know. Look, it's not a good time right now, all right? Oh, sorry, I just... Call you back. Nice work. Shall I uh, send you back? This is about Deb, right? No. This is um, about you and some incredibly bad judgment. W what is this? You couldn't even be home for your mother's phone call tonight? I forgot. The Luke Scott that I know is better than this. Look, the key Scott, I know is not my mother, all right? <laughs> He's not even her boyfriend, so this really isn't your business. Well, that's where you're wrong. Because while I'm here, it is my business. Oh my god. You know, Lucas, you might want to take I it. know he's a teenage kid and all, and that uh, he's not doing big deal, but he's a little bit out of character. Like, he used to be more responsible, you know? Well, what do you know? You actually hit the fairway this time. <laughs> <laughs> I hate him. My ball cleared yours on the fly. Maybe you want to hit from the ladies' tee next time. Wanna drive? Bitch! Cat power. He really likes to brag. Oh my Jet god. I okay. love them two together. Um, do you need help with this? Oh no, you don't have to do that. No, yeah, I do. You can uh, tell him. You don't want to hang out with me, that's cool. Alright? I really have great respect for him. Like, oh. Uh... Is she? Yeah. Yeah. She's all mine. Wow, that is unbelievable. <laughs> but, um. Why keep her a secret? Oh, yeah. People are. You know, my mom did the same thing. When I found out the truth about who I was, there was a part of me that thought that maybe she kept it a secret because she was ashamed of me. You don't want to hide this. This is Lucas that I know. It's me, really but I blew it. Sorry. The worst part is, though, Brooke is my best friend, you know? And she just she doesn't have any idea how much this is killing me. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know what kind of karmic monster I was in a past I'm life. like, she must <laughs> feel like something. She must notice life. something because it's her best friend, <laughs> unless she's denying it to herself. It was a nice try. Stop it! Think this what, what the hell are you doing? Never up, never in, right, Dad? <laughs> you know what? This whole thing is just another chance for you to pick me apart and show me how much better you are. Well, there you go, Dad. You just kicked my ass. Congratulations. I almost killed myself for you. You know that? Drugs, Dad. I took drugs for you. My son would never take drugs. Your son. You know why Mom kicked you out? Because you're a bully. You should do her a favor and give Mom a divorce. I'm not exactly a you know, shining example of good choices. Oh, kids. Okay. Well, you could take a page out of my book. <laughs> That's your advice? Just do nothing? Or you could emulate your brother and uh, smother the kid with your own shortcomings. Why he always got a point? Like, he never feels amazed me. Like, I kind of said some brutal things last night. I wish I could do yeah. that. Well, obviously, I suck at this. I want to be your friend, but I also want to do the right thing by your mom. And I know how important that is to you. I'm not really making it easy, am I? Well, yeah. at a certain point, it's up to you. And if you need help, I'll always be there. Man. Oh, just grab an apron. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Say wherever you want, order whatever you want on the house. Bless you. I just want to say you're doing a great job. My mom would be happy. About the other night. Yeah, yeah, I know you think I overstepped my bounds. If you have a problem with me, could you just talk to me about it first? <sighs> I thought I was cool with this, but I'm not. I'm sorry. It's me and Lucas? You do not have to feel like a third wheel. He gets that. Brooke, it's not that. that. Then what is it? I she just... really genuinely doesn't know? Um, so normally I only sing for my daughter. <gasps> but, um, something that a friend said convinced me that, uh, I should open up to a wider audience. <laughs> Jake has a baby? <laughs> Such a lonely world we're living in. Jerk never called you back, did he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, believe me, you don't want to talk to him anyways. It's like 
every time I'm with him, I just get caught in this riptide. You know? The harder I try to get out, the harder it is for me to keep from drowning. We were keeping score, Mom. What do you think happened? Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I should have known. Yeah, oh, you should have known better. I'm used to it. She's got your eyebrows. Ooh, that's not a good thing. <laughs> She's beautiful. Thanks, babe. This is gonna be low key. Sorry. Some of the guys and I are gonna go down and run at the river court. I wanna know if you and the team wanted to come. I'm rooting for some romance, buddy. Please. It's a sun. Oh, this chill. There's something gonna happen. Oh, I'm having fun. Oh, you might want to see this, coach. Oh. You have a problem, Dan. You're competitive and controlling, and you need some help. Since when did you become Mother of the Year? Yeah, Last I knew you were out of seven half a month and out of mind the rest. It's not a negotiation, Dan. You get some help, or you're not going to see Nathan. About Brooke and Lucas' relationship, I understand why Haley was having reservations about Brooke and Lucas. Well, she knows him well. He is her best friend. So she knows that Lucas still has feelings for Peyton, and that maybe his push in his relationship with Brooke may end up with both of them being hurt. And I actually feel the same way. I feel like him being with Brooke may be just a rebound, which is sad because Brooke really likes him. Plus, I don't think that Haley likes Brooke that much. So her main concern is that Lucas is not being truthful with himself. I ship Lucas with Peyton. I do, I do find Brooke and Lucas interesting. It seems that she brings something out of him that others don't. This light, goofy side of him. And I really like Brooke. And I know that I said in the last episode that I don't like what's happening with this whole Peyton, Brooke and Lucas situation. Yeah, I know that Peyton should have been honest and told her the truth about her feelings towards Lucas and, and that Brooke did try to make Peyton to admit it and that Peyton kept pushing back. I get that. If they were just normal friends, I would be like, okay, Lucas was a fair game and Peyton chose to not make her move, so I won't blame Brooke for making a move. But they are best friends. They know each other well. Like, for example, Haley and Lucas. Haley could totally see her best friend is in love with Peyton without Lucas saying it, you know? Last time when Brooke was talking with Lucas in Peyton's bedroom, that time when she got drugged, Brooke says something like, I'm sorry about what happened to you. Uh, Peyton uh, has a hard time opening up to people, but when she does, she loves deeply or something like that. So she knows how her personality is like. It won't come as a surprise for her that she's running away from her tr true feelings towards Lucas. That's what is bothering me. And in this episode, she seemed like Jen really has no idea and I don't know. So I'm just gonna stick with this mindset that what happened is happened. So I'm just gonna see what this relationship will bring me. I may end up shipping them, I don't know. Keith is trying hard to not fail Karen. It's not like Lucas is doing some bad, bad, bad stuff. It's just like it's a little bit out of character. And Brooke honestly has a big role in the way Lucas is changing. Yeah, he's having fun for the first time ever and I'm really happy for him and I'm a little bit afraid that those stuff are related to Peyton if he's doing those things to get over her. So Keith, he never saw Lucas pulled off with Karen, you know? This is why I'm saying it's a little bit out of character. So it feels like for him that it's, he's changing while under his charge. And that may be because of him and that he's failing Karen basically. So 
I do where he's coming from. But look, but like what he said, Lucas is a great kid. This is just something temporary. He's having fun for a little bit and he will come around eventually. So I think that's it, you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. See you in the next episode. Bye.